Hi guys, it's Taylor. Welcome back or to my channel. If you're new here, if you are new, make sure you subscribe and turn on my post notifications so you guys don't miss when I upload. But today is really exciting. I'm getting my hair done and as you guys can see, it is very long overdue. My roots are very dark, but honestly, I kind of am digging the dark roots and I think I'm gonna go a little bit darker. My appointment is in seven minutes, so I'm gonna sit in here and kind of collect my thoughts, figure out what I want because I have a general idea and so does she, but I have logged a few of my other hair appointments, so I will have those in the card. I think it's up on this side. I'll have it in the card up here if you guys want to go check them out. You guys love when I vlog my hair transformations, so I'm going to vlog this one for you guys too. I'm thinking I want to go like bronze or just kind of more to like my natural hair color. I love this just a caramel tone i'm not really gonna go in with a lot of expectations i'm really like wanting to kind of go a little bit darker i'll put some inspo photos up on the screen of what i'm going for but make sure you guys are following my pinterest if you're not already because i pin a lot of my hair inspiration on there it's always linked in the description of all of my videos i can't find any photos because i don't know like exactly what i want i don't really know now i'm kind of stressed out because i don't know what i want but it's gonna be fine i'm not gonna bring a lot of stuff in so i'm gonna leave my coat in my car and i'm also gonna leave my purse in here but i'm gonna bring just my wallet in because i don't really need anything else actually no i'll bring my purse as you guys can tell i don't know what's going on would normally wear my aritzia my aritzia masks but they have this on the end which is going to be really annoying when she's doing my hair so i'm just going to put on one of these i'm going to message her that i'm here and i will try to bring you guys along for as much of it as i possibly can i'm excited got the goods my water that's all i need i I kind of like the darker coming in a bit. I'm kind of into like a more caramel tone. Okay. So, I don't know. I kind of want to go to like more of a natural blonde color. Okay. But I still don't want it to be like really dark. But I really like the caramel kind of like dirty blonde tones. So, I don't know. What do you think? You must just know the and be like, oh, this is probably I don't really have any expectations. I just kind of want a change. Yeah. I don't know. Okay, this is what I'm thinking. Okay. Obviously going with the fresh highlights. Yeah. A few. Just to bring up that brightness a little bit in here, but keep a lot of the negative space, like the dark that you have. Um, and then take those highlights and then tone the rest to a darker, more caramel blonde. Yeah. And then those new highlights will tone after we wash. Let's just bring it up here then. Yeah, do, we'll do the front pieces. But I do need to add a few yeah, no, or save some things from in here. So I want to look like this. Okay, okay but okay. like, what about the front here? That looks like it goes all the way up. That's fine. Especially in like the front, in the then front. there's some depth, and then there's a few bolder pieces. Yeah. And the rest is just a Because I see there's like a, a shadow root at the top. Yeah. Is it? I can't even, is it like really dark back here? Um, it has the most depth back here. There's some highlights on the surface, but underneath it's super, yeah. I don't think I want it to be like super dark back here. Can I show you? Yeah. Yeah, like... You wanna break that up? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we'll go in with cheesy lights. Everywhere, basically. Tone the red. Okay. Uh, it's like a caramelly blonde, and then we tone those fresh highlights. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so I'm taking like. Do you want to take a picture and show you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because it's it's isn't it? It's pretty good. So <laughs> it needs to go. I mean, you could it, if you trim maybe a little bit less. You'll still be yeah, a nice difference. It'll still be really nice and refreshing for your hair. But how much is nice? I like the long layers like this. So can you do something like that? There's yeah. Right so basically, here. just face oh, trimming layers. So you don't really have there's yeah. nothing really much going on in the back. And also, I don't know. I've been staring at these. Okay. Are you gonna look bad with that though? I think you should get pretty much you have to get like the shorter one. ones. So like, because like even the yeah. photo that I show like this is so. Do you cute. want a lot of flips? So that one is really. That one has right? a lot. Yeah. yeah. I think yeah. you should. But should. maybe just a bit like this. Two different 
for me, lads. One for your end and one for Mitch and Ruth. Um, one is all the Pro, obviously. Extra lightning cream and powder. And then 10 volumes. And then the other one is all the Pro, same mixture with five volume one solution developer. I have no idea what that means. <laughs> Pigmented developer. Okay. <laughs> yeah. It's a good thing. Okay. So yeah, and bond builder in both. Obviously. Coloring the hair that's left over outside the highlight. It covers what's left over. No hair gets left behind. Except maybe the teeth parts, but I will cover those in some parts as well. Okay. What are we we're talking now? Yeah. I may or may not have to do a shadow. I'm gonna see as I comb it out. If I see any harsh lines, I'm gonna to wanna to erase them. Okay. Hello, I'm talking to you guys the next day because I got home. It was very dark, the lighting sucked, and I just wanted to show you guys what it looked like in good lighting. So I'm here the next day, and I just did my makeup to give you guys the full effect of everything, but I am literally so obsessed with it. It's everything I asked for. You guys would have seen in the beginning of the vlog. I'll include like snippets of kind of what we discussed and what we settled on, but pretty much I just wanted to go more dirty blonde because my hair is naturally dirty blonde. It's not very dark at all. So we just just kind of wanted to go back to that color there's just one specific photo that we really stuck to and this was like the main color that i wanted this is matilda i love her hair but this photo it is a little bit more like caramel golden because she's obviously in the sunlight but it is very like natural dirty blonde it's kind of like muted she did a little bit of a root smudge because the highlights at the top were a little bit too defined and she wanted to blend everything out so she just did a little bit of one but i had a lot of dark at the back and she just really like brought all of the highlights up and blended everything together so i've been seeing these little tiny fringe bangs everywhere and I have been thinking about getting them for a while so I just decided to get them she wanted to go even shorter but I was already like pretty shook when I first saw them cut so maybe next time I'll go shorter but I think they look so cute when you have like a blowout and then these little guys fly out like that I don't know I'm really into it especially when I put my hair back just have like the little cute pieces come out they're definitely a lot shorter than what I had before so like this is the shortest piece and before the shortest piece was like right at my chin from my understanding we just added in a bunch of highlights and then she also added in some baby lights to darken it a bit and then she toned it to a dirty blonde color because my hair was pretty blonde before but I'm over it and I honestly feel like this is the color that I was supposed to be. Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments. I think this is my favorite my hair has ever been. I also went really short too, as you guys can see, but I really like it. My hair feels so thick compared to what it used to and just fresh and healthy. And I feel like 
it's just my color. Okay, hi, I am currently editing this video and I don't have my camera with me, so I'm on my phone. But if I confused you in any way or if you have more answers on my hair, just leave a comment down below and I'll try to answer it to the best of my ability. I feel like I talked for a really long time, but everything that I said didn't really make sense. But yeah, if you have any questions, you can just comment them. Also, whenever I post a hair transformation vlog, I always get questions on price. So I thought I would just answer it for you guys here. I have answered a few comments, but I know not everybody sees that. And I guess it is very helpful to outline how much you paid when you went. But obviously it varies depending on what salon you go to and also what you are getting done to your hair. But since I've been going to Bianca, my price has been consistent at 225 around there after tax. And then I just tip on top of that. But yeah, hope that's helpful. Make sure you guys go follow Bianca on Instagram. She always posts a lot of information about what she does with her clients. So if you guys are interested and live in the Durham region area, you should definitely check her out. She's been doing my hair for like almost two years now. Subscribe if you're not already. Turn on my post notifications so you can be notified whenever I post a video. I've been posting sporadically, but I think I'm gonna get into the routine of doing Monday, Wednesday, Friday, because I did that this week that I'm filming this, and I did it the previous week, and I think that just really works out good. I think three videos a week is good. Anything more could be like overwhelming, especially with Vlogmas coming up. I'm rambling now. Subscribe if you're new, follow my Instagram so you can see photos of what it looks like, and I will see you guys in a few days. Bye.